I wonder what happened if you just become the wine capital of the world and just flood the entire place with alcohol. But you would think that is not possible because you still need to build other stuff like you know your people need clothes, they need glass, they need coal, they need all of that. But Victoria 3 has this funny thing called customs union which basically allows you to join someone else's market so you have all of their goods. And funny enough Britain is very keen of having me in their market. So as Belgian now, I'm in the British market and I have all the goods that the British market has. I can now produce one thing for the rest of the game and as long as Britain is big enough and produces the rest, I will be completely fine. We're gonna try that today to only build wine. <laughs> so yeah, here, we're gonna focus on vineyards. <laughs> Look at this construction, only wheat and wine. <laughs> only weakness of my strategy is I am reliant for everything except wine and grain to be shipped from overseas. So if anyone blockades the sea, my nation is gonna starve. So let's just try to stay out of trouble for now. As decrease, we're gonna put agriculture and road maintenance. So we make more wine and the wine gets built faster. And because we have no police force, uh, we kinda also need police, you know, that's kinda important. I don't know how we don't have police yet, like... Someone just steals something of you and you're like, well, guess that's it. I'm already the biggest supplier of wine in the entire United Kingdom. I'm, I'm supplying over 500 of 660 wine. The only issue is wine is dirt cheap right now. Like basically nothing. Look at this. I think the, the only way how we will be able to survive this is with exports, I think. I fixed the price of wine. It's not half off now. If we get the agrarians to like us, we get 20% more wine production. Okay, you're so going into the government, buddy. Now it's only the Catholics and the alcoholics. So we're basically becoming Ireland. If we switch from interventionism to agrarianism, so we're basically going backwards. To <laughs> then we get, then you like us. Ah, yes, 20% more wine production for us. I'm running out of convoys to ship my wine. Wait one second. Why do I need convoys to ship my wine to the French market? You're right next to me! The wine production in Bologna has been lauded by sommeliers as outstanding. Oh my gosh, plus 50% wine on <laughs> I'm the number 5 in standard of living around the world now. I cannot believe it. I am producing wine, that's it. And I'm number 7 in GDP per capita, how is this possible? I'm number 6! <laughs> oh no, we're running out of people to hire. Alright, we need to upgrade to steam-powered machines so that we need to hire less people in our wine farms. Oh, and another good vineyard. 50% more wine, let's go. <laughs> I'm producing 2,000 wine in one of my farms. I haven't even started building the second one. Number three GDP per capita. It, it, it is just ridiculous. At one point I will just buy myself a mercenary army to take over the whole of Europe with just wine money. I will have to start getting some colonies because we are slowly running out of places to build wine in. I'm gonna start a war with the Congo. Oh, we're gonna be fighting Portugal. Uh, that is not gonna be great. Is my po is my fleet bigger than the Portuguese one? Oh, I, I don't have a fleet. Wait, why do I not have a fleet? How the hell am I supposed to reach? I don't have a fleet. How the hell am I supposed to reach the Congo? We're gonna be building a fleet. <laughs> <laughs> the fleet can hire no one because everyone is working in the vineyards. So I have no one fighting in my fleet. I accept it. Oh, I, I own this now. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I cannot build my wine farms in Africa. This whole plan is useless. Well, at least I have some tea plantations now. I bet the British are very happy about that. I also want to acknowledge there's no one with a higher standing of living in Europe than me. So basically... If you want to have a great life in Europe, come to Belgium. I guess I'm gonna go over to South America to make my wine. Oh wait, if I increase the fertilizer, it just produces more grain, not more wine. Well, god damn it, I'm being scammed here. <laughs> okay, I, I switched to the better fertilizer and I think it's working. <laughs> I'm number two in GDP per capita because of that. Just to give you a perspective of how much wine I am producing. If you take everyone on this list, I think I produce more. <laughs> Alright, if I attack Venezuela, I will probably have to fight Denmark and Brazil. This is gonna work. No one wants to help me. Great. Oh, I landed. Oh, that is surprising. Let's just hope the Brazilians don't arrive in time. Oh, I actually got it. Yes, I can make wine here. Let's go. Ha ha ha.
You know, I'm not a math genius, but uh, this number, uh, the Congo, is, is not that profitable for me, not gonna lie. Uh, we have an input shortage on fertilizer. How the hell did we manage that? Oh, that is why we have an input shortage on fertilizer. Uh, is someone selling some fertilizer? Oh, and we have a crop failure in the Congo. Well, that makes it just better. It's not really that helpful when your entire economy is on the brink of collapse because there's not enough cow poo. <laughs> Number one standard of living in the world. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god, my food industry can make more liquor. Oh, that's right. I'm, I can make more alcohol. Alright, if I'm ever running out of wine, I'm gonna build food industry so I can make more liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Everything counts. Everything alcoholic counts. A uh, little issue. Uh, no one is working in my wine yards in Venezuela. <laughs> it's like uh, not even 10% of a farm is employed right now. But hey, it's making a profit at least. I, I, I really need to start employing a woman. So I need to give woman rights so that they can work in the farm. <laughs> I also noticed I'm the third biggest producer in, of grain in the world. <laughs> in front of Russia. Ah, uh, my construction queue is nearly done. Uh, this is an issue. <laughs> the entire country is full of farms. Okay, we're gonna start building liquor. There, look, 100 liquor per food industry. Alright, we have found our new calling. <laughs> I just noticed my economy is nearly as big as Prussia's. Oh, and women have rights now. Wonderful, they can now work on the farm. My god, I can fire half of my people now from the fields. <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna have so many free employees in a second. I'm sure they will find a workplace somewhere, right? Oh, that's a, that's a lot of unemployed people. Never mind, they might not find a workplace somewhere else. No, I created a new government and it includes everyone but the socialists. <laughs> Okay, I might have to start paying down this debt soon. That, that, is, that is a lot of debt. That is an uncomfortable amount of debt. France and Prussia are at war with each other. Um, that is not too good. U usually when something like that happens, I am kind of next in line. So uh, please just ignore me. I'm just going to stand here and supply you with your booze, okay? Uh, I need more people to sell my booze to, so we're going to open up new markets by just uh, invading Peru and making it my puppet. Uh, we're going to be fighting half of South America, but that is fine because Mexico uh, ain't doing too well. Got kind of killed in the US war right now, so for some reason Venezuela wants to join my side. Um... Kinda just took half your country, I, but I think you have some short-term memory issues and you forgot about that. Let's get the Valonians in, I hope this doesn't crash my economy too much. <laughs> oh, I'm number one in GDP per capita, I just noticed. Wonderful. Wait, what? I just lost the war. Oh, god damn it, I'm paying a lot of money. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can try to take over the Netherlands. That, that, that looks. That doesn't look good. That, that is. That is not good. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Input good shot on just everything existing on the face of the world. Well, that was great. We managed to become the number one wealthiest country in the world by only doing wine and booze. It would have worked if I wouldn't have been greedy. Alright, have a good day.